Yo, it's Jared, I'm on chess.com, playing a 10 minute game, no time to waste. And we have a French defense. Have a mainline French, an exchange French. Okay, this is a classical French. Whoa, the knight went home. That's odd. Usually the knight goes to e7. Oh, it goes to d7. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna play bishop e3, knight f3. I've played these types of lines before. The queen ends up coming to b6. I believe I can play simply knight f3 first. Okay, the queen's probably going to come to b6 at some point, and that's what I'm anticipating. Let's see, bishop e3, or just not bother, just try castling. I'm going to try and go for castle kingside before anything else. Yes, queen b6. Now knight a4. Knight a4, attack the queen defend this pawn, attack this pawn. Am I nearly winning a pawn here? No, the, the knight has to go back now. Or, actually it doesn't, I can play uh, c3, the queen defends the knight. Ah, the queen's nearly trapped. Nearly trapped. Okay, I can take here, bishop takes, pawn takes, queen takes. Okay, I could play pawn takes. Ah, pawn takes works because of a fork. I believe I can play pawn takes. So if bishop takes pawn, I play b4, forking the bishop and the queen. Okay, I believe this just wins a pawn. Okay, he's given me the option of knight b6, attacking the bishop and the rook. Rook moves, I grab the bishop. Is that worth it? I think that's probably worth it. Knight b6 looks like a very strong knight. I'm going to go for knight b6. Attacking the rook, attacking the bishop, I can then play b4. And the queen is actually trapped, I think, after b4. Isn't the queen trapped? Can't go here, can't go here. Or can go there. No, can't go there because, because of the knight. Can't go here because of the bishop. I believe the queen is now trapped. Okay. I don't need to worry about that bishop. I can just move my queen. The queen is still trapped. Now what does he do about his queen? He's just losing his queen. In fact, I, c I could have even t just taken that bishop. That, that bishop was free. I take the bishop, but then he gets his queen out. Hmm. So it may actually be more accurate to play what I played, just queen d2. Keeping his queen attacked. Looks like I'm going to win more material this way. So I presume black is either going to resign this game or play queen takes b6. Yeah. Okay. So I seem to be up a queen. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. So just castle. I think it was castle. I seem to be up a queen, so... He's going up to that pawn. Do I want to hang on to that pawn? Or not really? Let's see. I can even play c4. Hmm. 
I can actually afford to defend the pawn with queen d4. I don't really see how black is attacking my queen. So I think I'm just going to do that. Defend the pawn like this. Right, his queen, his knight's going to come into c6. That's the point. But I can simply back up my queen, or I can play bishop e3. I think I'll play bishop e3. Ah, the knight can actually come into f5, but that's fine. I just move my queen back, right? Just move her, move, move her back. Back here. Takes my bishop, I recapture. This bishop's a pain. It means I can't play rook d1. Okay, bishop d1. I think he's going to be... Ah, you know what? I have to watch out for moves like bishop b5. If I play bishop d1, there's bishop b5. Wins an exchange. In fact, is bishop b5... No, that's just a blunder, isn't it? Ah, no, he's going to play takes. He takes the bishop, he gets the exchange. I'm actually okay with that, I think. That's two pieces for the rook. I think I'm fine with that. I am completely fine with that exchange, I think. Two pieces for the rook. Plus I'm up a queen. Sure, he gets this pawn back. Okay. Now I believe I should just try and open things up. What about rook here? For starters. Threatening possibly things like c4. Although c4 is not really a threat at the moment. What about knight d4? Although c4 now is a threat. The knight went back. c4. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go for that. Because if takes, there's queen d7 mate. Okay. I can even just push past c5. Or takes, there's knight takes. Hmm. Keep things closed. Nah, I take, takes, I play bishop here. He grabs this pawn. Takes, knight takes, a3. I'm just going to push past, I think. Make his bishop look bad. Now I've got knight d4 as, as a possibility. He can castle queenside to get onto my queen. Uh-huh. I'm going to... Well, knight d4 challenges this knight. This pawn's not going anywhere. It's guarded by my queen. Okay, I've got some play. Can I play a4? I think a4 is the right way to go. Just trying to open up lines towards his king a bit further. Yes, okay, that's fine. I can play b5. Ah. I can play b5, he cannot take because bishop takes and he has to give up his rook. Which is what I was just talking about. In fact, yes. Uh, not quite, actually. He can play knight to c6, but then I take. I simply take. He recaptures with the pawn. I take again, he plays king e7. Surely I come in with my queen now, queen a5. Queen a5 next. I think queen a5 or rook b1. Rook b1 threatens mate, also queen a5 threatens mate, so might as well go for that. 
So I'm threatening queen c7 mate because of this pawn. His king can't go to f6. Also queen to a7 mate. How does he meet this? I don't think he can. I think he's sort of tied up. In fact, I think it's mate next move no matter what. I can't see a defense. Right, he has to give up the exchange, but I'll take that. So if I play a check, I'll just bring in my rook. Play check here, king. I'm trying to find the most accurate way to win this. Queen b5 check. King here. I think it's best just to get in more forces. I'm going to try rook b1 to get in rook b7. He'll probably play something like bishop e7, trying to get his rook into the game, but I don't think it's going to be fast enough. Okay, rook b7. Seems good. Queen c7. I'm going to pick off his bishop. Um, possibly. Although this is actually... Yeah. This seems to be leading to bad times for black. Can I play rook b8? Yeah, rook b8. Rook b8 king here. I can simply keep that bishop pinned. What about c6? c6 for c7. His pieces just can't move. He can't move his bishop and he can't move his king which means he can't move his rook to help out in the game. So c7 is coming next. And I believe there is no defense. Okay, he plays on c7. I think he has to play king e7 or king f8 or just resign. Okay, he resigns. It's a good game. He's offered a rematch. I'll decline, but good game. Let's go back and take a look. So it was a French defense by black with a classical line. Knight d7 is the main move, but he played knight back to g8. So I believe knight f3 is okay. I anticipated this queen b6 move. It's a common move to see in the French defense. Um, to put more pressure on this d4 pawn. But I believe I played it correctly with knight a4. Yet this looks like it's going to win a piece, but it actually doesn't because of c3, which attacks the queen and guards my knight with my queen. So now his queen is running short on squares. And I looked at moves like knight takes. But up to knight takes, bishop takes, pawn takes, queen takes, pawn. Black is doing perfectly fine in that line. So fortunately pawn takes works because if bishop takes pawn, I have b4. Which forks the bishop and the queen. And this knight b6 move I think is just really painful for black at this point. And already at this point, white has the idea of playing b4 and the black queen has no moves. So now black queen has no moves. And after I made this move, I thought about just taking the bishop, but then that gives his queen a place to move and can run back to d8. So I think it's more accurate just to play queen d2 and allow his queen to sack herself for the knight on b6. So some more moves were played. I probably didn't play this quite as accurately. I'm perfectly fine with this being up heaps of material, just taking on c2, which gives black this option to capture. In fact, it's not really 
uh, two pieces for the Rook, which is what I said in the game, is it? Because I capture, that's one piece, he gets his piece back. So it's really just going down the exchange, it's not two pieces for the Rook at all. But I gave up an exchange, which I think is fine when you're up this much material. So now, yeah, I'm just trying to open up lines and get my pawns rolling. Yeah, b5 I, th I think is a great move. I don't, I really don't think he can take this pawn, which he did. It just leads to more pieces coming off. And, and this forces him to give back the rook. So now I'm just totally winning, of, of course. And this was just uh, a really simple game to win. So I hope you enjoyed this game. I'll see you in the next one.